It's been a rough year for Terps men's basketball, but they hope that Kevin Willard can right the ship. University announced their new men's head coach. He spent the past 12 years in Newark, New Jersey, rebuilding the program at Seton Hall. Now he's looking to restore the shine in College Park. WMER 2 News is Sean Stefner, the only Baltimore reporter to speak one on one with Willard and why he picked the Terps over several other job offers. New head coach of the Maryland Terrapins, how's that sound? What's this day like for you? Yeah, it, it sounds phenomenal, to be honest with you. This has been a, it's been a whirlwind, but it's uh, an unbelievable feeling to be the head coach at the University of Maryland. When it came down to it, why Maryland? I think Maryland's a top 10 job in the country. Uh, I think it has an unbelievable recruiting base. I think it has a great alumni base. Uh, it's been that in the past. It has great coaches in the past, great players. Gary Williams left the, left the, the blueprint, and it's been done and we just have to get back to doing it again. How can Maryland fans expect your teams to play here? When they come to Xfinity Center, what type of brand of basketball do you hope to provide for this program? Well, we're gonna have some fun. I mean, that's the main thing. Like, you know, I think sometimes is everyone says we're gonna play fast, we're gonna play tempo. Uh, we are gonna play winning basketball. You know, we are gonna win, we're gonna have fun winning. My players are gonna have fun playing basketball. This fan base, uh, the, the Terps are, are used to success, uh, high expectations, NCAA tournaments, runs in the NCAA tournament. You're used to that uh, as of late, making the NCAA tournament on a regular basis. How do you get this program back to that? Well, I, th I, you know, I think that's got to be our expectations as, as our team. You know, I really think that that's what our players have to expect and have to work for. I think that's something that, you know, as we build this roster, you know, not only this year, but moving forward is making sure that we have the right pieces to make that make those runs and I think that's what makes this area so special is that you're able to kind of recruit this base create a culture uh, and then build from there I've recruited this area quite a bit and I'm, I'm very familiar with this area uh, I know the coaches uh, I think what makes this area so special is not only does it have great players it has unbelievable high school and AAU coaches. We're definitely going to recruit the DMV. I'm looking forward to getting down here and, and getting to meet everybody, uh, get back in here and, and get going. Athletic Director Damon Evans says Willard was at the top of his list all along. What I like about Kevin is that we talked about the high expectations here at the University of Maryland. This is not about just winning games. This is about competing for championships, and we want to win championships, and he embraces that. And he gets the Gary Williams stamp of approval. What do you expect Maryland fans to see on the floor from a Kevin Willard team? Well, a high level of play um, and a competitive team right away. I, I, I think Kevin feels that he can be competitive next year. Uh, Things have changed in college basketball with the transfer portal, all those things that are going on. But uh, knowing Kevin, knowing how he can improve players that are good players to start with and then improve those guys, that, that's how you have a good basketball team. Willard said he was offered four other head coaching jobs before deciding to come to the Terps. On why he finally chose Maryland, he said he sat down with his family on Sunday night and he said to them simply, this is an offer we just can't pass up. In College Park, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.